east, whereby we have Lake George in the east, and it is 16 kilometers from the bridge, that bridge you're seeing, to reach Lake George. And we have Lake Edward in the west, and it is 24 kilometers from the bridge to reach Lake Edward. Yeah, Mr. Vin Diesel, <laughs> our fast and furious driver. <laughs> We have Lake George in the east, and it is 16 kilometers from the bridge, that bridge you're seeing, to reach Lake George. And we have Lake Edward in the west, and it is 24 kilometers from the bridge to reach Lake Edward, making the Kazinga Channel to be a 40 kilometers long. So the water flows from Lake George, feeding Kazinga Channel, from Kazinga Channel to Lake Edward, from Lake Edward to River Semliki. So earlier, Lake George was named by the villagers Lake Katungulu, meaning Lake Onion. Lake so, onion. Yes, Katungu is our local language, meaning an onion, okay. because it is shaped in an onion shape. But in 1888, Sir Henry Morton Stanley had a visit in Uganda, and he changed the name to Lake George, honoring the Prince of Wales at that time was Prince Albert George. But... Until right now, we still recognize it like Lake George, even though our villagers named it Lake Katungulu. So Lake Edward, it was named by the villagers Lake Ritanzije, or the killers of the locust, because Ritanzije meaning killing of locusts, because villagers used to go on that lake and start killing locusts in order to get what to eat. But in 1888, Simon Morton Stanley also changed the name to Lake Edward until right now. But in 1973, our president, Ida Amin Dada, made an agreement with the president of DRC Kong. At that time, it was Mobutu Seseseku was a banger, and they agreed to name the lake, Lake Ida Amin Dada. But in 1979, after Ida Amin Dada overthrown from the power, the lake gained its earlier name, Lake Edward, until right now. So the water depth on Kazinga Channel in the dry season, it is 8 meters deep. But in the rainy season, it can go up to 10 meters deep. And we are known of carrying out two major activities. The one can be s evidenced on this side and even on the southern part, the fishing boats. So the villagers will go in the afternoon and carry out their fishing activity on the lake. And they come back in the morning, meaning they sleep on the shores of Kazinga Channel, protecting their fishing nets, not to be taken away by the hippos and crocodiles. And they come back in the morning. And the type of fish we have, we have that lapia fish, the sweetest fish we have in Uganda. Have you tested on it? No, I'm not. Oh, you have to test on it. You will know how Uganda is sweet okay. if you test on it. We have the elephant snout fish. It's a fish with a mouth like a trunk of an elephant. Ah. Yeah, and we have the African catfish, a fish with some mustache, some hairs on the mouth and even the long marble fish, which looks like a mamba snake in length. And the type of things we have to see on our cruise, we expect to see beautiful bird species. Do we like birds? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We expect to see Nile monta lizards. They look like commodos. Okay. We expect to see Nile crocodiles. We expect to see Cape buffaloes, but for this one, they stay on the shores of Kazinga Channel. We expect to see African elephants, African savanna and African forest elephants, okay. and lastly, hippopotamus. Okay. But what I can give you a guarantee to see 100% until you are tired, those are the hippopotamus, okay. because this is a world of hippos. But for other 
land animals like el elephants and even buffaloes. As you know, this is a, a wide park and they are land animals, so they move freely and at times they can visit us on Kazinga channel, at times they can remain in the park. So we are on probability to see them or not, on to see, not to see them, yes. But for any question, you will forward it to me so that I can answer you correctly. And for that, enjoy your world boat yeah. and enjoy your safari. Thank you. Thank you. Hippo also. Yeah. You can see the friendship between them. They share a good neighborhood. I show on discovery that Hippo never share their territories. <laughs> but here they share with the buffaloes. Buffaloes, you may ask yourself a lot of questions. Why are these ones on the shores of Kazinga Channel? And we expected to see them in the park, not around the water body. So these ones are the retired generals, or the cast buffaloes, or the loser buffaloes. When they are many, they are called the bachelor's heart. Mm -hmm. So they were chased out from the family because they are weak, they are old. 
they can't meet at the expectation so that teenagers just get an idea of kicking them out from the family because they are useless. Okay. Yeah. So when they are chased, they try to find out a better place for them to be secure from predators, lions, hyenas, and leopards. They found out that Kazinga Channel, it is a better place for them to be safe. Now they stay here for protecting their life until they die. Because their lifespan it is always about 40 to 45 years and they are chased from the family when they are around 35 to 40 years. So they spend the five years on water until they become very old and they die. Okay, wow. So they are in their retirement age. And it is always the male who are just from the family. Okay. Yeah, and, and you can see the horns because for the male ones always have the W-shaped horns and the boss in the middle which is called a shield. Yeah. But for the female they have the U-shaped horns without the boss or the shield in the middle. And the reason why they were created like that is a duty for the man to fight and protect their family. So if you weave a beautiful nest, you will earn a beautiful lady. And if you weave a, an ugly nest, automatically you will get an ugly lady. So it's like a system of corn. Build the nest. Build the males. Okay. And the sad thing, they build but they don't stay in the nest. When it reaches at night, they just stay on the branches protecting their, their wives. Okay. The Continue? Yeah, yeah. Papa. So, friends, this is the Kazinga Channel. This is Lake George and Lake Edward. This is the 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 Lake Edward. हिपोपोटोमस गजब का नजारा है दोस्तों गजब का एरिया है ग्रीन ट्री से भरपूर और ये अपने जंगली जीवों से भरमार के लिए जाना जाता है कौन जानता है हमें आज कौन कौन से जंगली जीव देखने को मिलेंगे यहाँ पे देखो तो कितने सारे हिप्पो पानी में आराम फरमा रहे हैं ये विशाल काय जीव इतनी करीब से देखना वाकई अविश्वसनीय अनुभव है मेरे लिए
camera moving easy. He's moving also here. Stand there. I'm afraid more, especially in the morning, by the teenagers. For the hippos are always trained from their childhood. That's why they are. For us, we nickname them the the motor combat fighters. Because mm. they are good in fighting. They were trained from childhood how to combat. Mm. With that of buffalo. 40 to 45 years. का चैनल ना सिर्फ स्तनधारियों का बल्कि पक्षियों का भी घर है a shield on their body how to survive from the hot sunlight mm -hmm. that's why they stay in water so they lack sweat glands and when they come out from water when it is too hot you can see some reddish thing coming out from their body mm -hmm. yeah you see they have the hypocytolic the red hypocytolic acid pigment and the orange hypocytolic acid pigment and that's why some people say that people sweat blood, but it is not always blood, it is a pigment. <coughs> so on this side, this side is more fertile than the other side. That's why at the times we don't find more animals on this side. Only when they want to eat, like the elephants when they are coming to eat, this is the safe site for them. Because there is always green. And the known trees we have here on this side, we have the Amphobia candelabrum trees, some people which they missed. So the hippos on this side, they were formed by the mother and the bastard son. So the story begins where by the female hippo gets pregnant, she just isolates herself from the family on the other side. And they come on this side because it's a safer place for Here, Mr. Wind Diesel, <laughs> our fast and furious driver. <laughs> so guys, Elizabeth National Park ka safari yahi se khatam hota hai. Yahi se shuru kiya tha, abhi aa gaye hain. 
वो सामने जो है रेस्टोरेंट उसमें हमने ब्रेकफास्ट किया था अभी हम लंच करने के लिए रुके हैं यहाँ पे तो लंच करके फिर निकलेंगे तो मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बाय बाय